Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2s. In this video, I'll be showing you how to clone any voice using AI free and with no limit. So before we start, hurry up and check out these other features under this video. Let's get started. So if you're looking for a way to clone your voice here without paying for anything and you can just basically do it for free, well, in this case, there is a way for you to do this. So first things first is you want to download a very specific app here that allows us to do so. So first things first is you want to go to Google here, just type in or search for Pinocchio. Now you want to open up the first link here for pinocchio-home.netlify.app. Let's go open it up. Now from here, what we need to do next is we want to go and click on download as you see here at the left side. And from here, you want to choose whichever you want to use this. Like my case, I'm using Windows. Let's go and choose Windows. Now from here, let's go and click on download for Windows. Now, typically the steps here for you to download is actually pretty easy. So it also is going to be uh, illustrated in here. Like you just need to unzip the file here and just basically install this. Now, in this case, you may need to expand this further and basically run the app itself. But yeah, it might take a while. Let's go open it up. And from here, let's go ahead and extract this. Double click on it. And let's go ahead and extract the exe file here in our desktop. And it should uh, basically allow us to install Pinocchio. Let's go and double click on Pinocchio. And from here, what we need to do is so let's go and click on more info, click on run anyway. Now, once you've done that, it should start the Pinocchio setup here. Again, it might take a while here. Just wait for it to fully complete or initialize the installation. And as you can see, we've just installed Pinocchio. Now from here, let's go and click on allow. And from here, let's go ahead and basically uh, choose a few things like the version, the home uh, where it's going to be located, and also the team here. Let's go and choose dark here as a preference. Let's go and click on save. Now from here, it should uh, basically save our settings here. Again, let's just wait for, uh, for a while. But once inside Pinocchio, what we need to do next is we just need to click on the discover button at the top right here. Go to search script and uh, for from verify publishers here. Just type in F5. Now from here, you want to look for E2F5TTS. Let's go ahead and click on it. Now, what we need to do is let's just, let's just click on the one click install with Pinocchio. Now, the great thing about this one is this will uh, basically do everything for us. So in this case, it will install anything that we need for this specific app or software here. Let's go ahead and click on install. Again, it might take a while here, so just sit back and maybe like watch a movie or a series here. But in this case, let's just wait for it to finish. Now, once the download and installation is done, this is what it should look like. Now from here, you should be able to add your sample audio, so reference audio here. Also the text uh, that you want to basically use for your generated uh, text here. So you could go ahead and load the text to generate uh, from a TXT file if you want to upload your own file here. Also if you want to add like advanced settings here, but then again, uh, these are just advanced. Uh, these are just optional here if you want to uh, basically uh, change them. Like for example, uh, just the speed of the audio and if E steps so set the number of the denoising steps here also crossfade duration as well now this case what we need to do let's go ahead and just add our audio here now by the way it is uh suggested that you uh, basically have like multiple uh in this case reference audio here so if you have like multiple audio that you could use maybe create like five samples or more uh just to see which one works for you but yeah so in this case we have this sample here let's go and drag it in here it's now going to be uploaded. So just to be idea, this is what it's actually going to sound like. So let's go and just play this real quickly here. Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To Use. And uh, as you can see right now, that's our sample audio. Now, you could go and just stream this if you want to. Uh, let's go ahead and basically, uh, let's go and just choose our text here. So I have this sample text here. Let's go, go and copy this one. Go back in here. Just paste our text here. And you can just click on synthesize here to start the synthesis, uh, the synthesize process. Now, once it's actually done, you could just basically see the synthesized audio here, and you could just play this one. Just to give you an example, let's go ahead and just play this one. There is a group of scientists from 195 countries who look at the science of climate change and see what it... And as you can see, that's our synthesized voice here, using your voice as a reference. Now, like what I said before, it's it's actually best to have multiple samples that you could actually use uh, for this specific uh, cloning here, just to see which one best works for you. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video, avoid the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.